Hello everyone, Johannes Kruger here, and this is my first basic video tutorial that will show you how to make a Roblox thumbnail in Photoshop. This could be either for your YouTube video or as a thumbnail for your game on Roblox. This is the first of a series of tutorials I am making to help out people who may not have the knowledge of how to do things with Roblox, editing, or different kinds of software, so expect more of these tutorial series further on. So before we start this tutorial, I know a lot of people may have Paint.net and not Photoshop, but this is one of the things that I have more experience in using. Later on, I will make a tutorial with Paint.net when I have more experience in using that. Now there are many ways to make a Roblox thumbnail in Photoshop, but this is one of the ways I will show you how I make them. That way you may have an idea of how to make your own. So to get started, you will need to have a Photoshop, of course, and then you will have to open it up and create a new file. Your adjustment may vary depending on what you want. Add the name you wish to call your Photoshop project and I would usually recommend going for a width and height of 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. The resolution I usually go with is anything 72 and up. And I also have a transparent background. Some people may want to have a white background instead and you know, it's just your choice. It doesn't really make much of a difference. And after that, just press OK. The way I make mine is that I take screenshots from in Roblox using Fraps. But if you don't have Fraps or any other screen capture software, you can use the in-game screenshot option. The only difference is that the in-game screenshot option might be a little bit less quality than Fraps, but it's also still good to use, just in case you may not have Fraps or any other screen capture software. You can take different types of shots of things you would like to add to your thumbnails. One thing I do is take shots of single objects in a green screen room. You can do the same in a blue screen room or in a red screen room. These are custom made, so if you would like to have them, I put a link in the description of where to download them. Only difference is that the color of the object may be a bit difficult to take out when it matches to the background. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. So once you have taken a screenshot, locate the file and open it in Photoshop. Once it has been opened, make a copy of the background layer and select the magic wand tool, and click on the place you wish to select to delete. Press the shift button to click more than one area. Once the areas are selected, cut it with Ctrl X or edit and cut. Select the rectangle mark here too and surround it around the images. Copy it by pressing Ctrl C or edit and copy and then go back to your original image and paste it with Ctrl V or edit and paste. You could also drag the layer from one image to another like so. Now you can do the same with other images you wish to add. This will in turn make a thumbnail that's more detailed. As such, you can add text and other effects to get it to look as dynamic as possible. Well guys, I hope this video tutorial has been useful to you. If so, remember to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's any more questions of what you need help with, you can always find me on my Twitter which will be in the description below or you can ask me questions in the comment section. So until next time, take care and see y'all later.